All right, Don, we're here with Lou Colabella, father of first baseman Chris Colabella. His first weekend playing at Fenway Park. I know he made it up with Minnesota a couple years ago, now back with Toronto. But as a dad, watching him play as a kid in Legion Ball in Milford, what's it like watching your son play at Fenway Park? Absolutely fantastic, Tom. Uh, a dream of every dad is to have your kid get to the big leagues, but to have your kid get to the big leagues and play 45 minutes from his home in one of the greatest ballparks in Major League Baseball. Just a fantastic feeling for my wife and I, and um, we, we just, uh, you know, hope this dream continues. I told him, don't wake up. Yeah, he's worked so hard to get here. I, I know he it hasn't been lost on him what it means to start Friday night in left field where, where Ted Williams and Carly Ostrowski and Jim Rice all play. Uh, you know, I grew up watching all those guys play baseball and admired every one of them for the way they approached the game and for what they did for the game of baseball. And uh, to have you, your son stand in the same blades of grass that they did and to be able to just turn around and look at that big green monster, um, just a, a feeling that I, I can't express it in words. You're a pitcher, you're UMass, and you pitch for the Italian Olympic team. And, and so I know your conversations with him after games are always from the pitcher's perspective. Now, he told me he invokes a three-game suspension if you get a little too critical of his at-bats. Is that correct? It's very true. Um, you know, I try, I try not to. But uh, being his mentor from when he was five years old, uh, I never coached him in high school, but I kind of feel that I live and die every one of his at-bats. And, of course, every father wants his hit kid to get a hit every time he gets up at bat. And uh, I forget once in a while, and I'll send him a little derogatory text, and then I don't get a phone call for three days. <laughs> a three-game suspension. And I got to ask, finally, you went on Kevin Millar's show here Friday with him. And he's not real happy because apparently they asked you how you would pitch him, and you kind of gave away the book on your son. Well, I've always told him by watching him play, and I was left-handed, I said I would give you a comfortable 0 for 4 because that's all I do is throw your change-ups down and away, and you haven't proved to me over the years that you can hit it. And then I thought, uh, oh, boy, I just gave the Red Sox and the rest of the American League a scouting report. But, uh, you know, he'll overcome it, I'm sure. All right, he told me I had to call you Sweet Lou at least once during the interview. So, Sweet Lou, thanks for the time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Right, thanks very much for having me. It's been great. All right, now you know how you got tough enough. When you get the book from your dad like that, and dad tells you you're going to go 0 for 4 against him, you better be tough when you face major league pitching. Guys? Yeah, and Chris pretty tough, too, giving his daddy three-game suspension every now and again, you know? <laughs> That's great. Great story. And